they camp it around about them that fear him. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That means before the enemy can, can get to me, you gotta go through my enemy. Yeah. 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 And the only way he's gonna get through my enemy is God allows. That's right. Yeah. Anybody know we covered today by, by, by the power of the Lord? Oh, yeah. 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 Watch this. If he gets through the angel, he got to deal with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. If, if he just happens to get through my angel, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Anybody, anybody just full of the Holy Ghost? But if that's the case for coffee and tea, how much more does the Holy Ghost oh, fill us? Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, Lord, bro. With his presence. Fill us. Oh, yeah. That's right now. That's why I can clearly state today, greater is he. Hallelujah. Anybody else say that with me? Yeah. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in this world. If you believe that, come on, clap your hands. We are you on the Hallelujah. You gotta sing the house of God today. Praise is what I do. We say praise the Lord to the household of faith on today. We give God glory, give God honor. We lift up the name of Jesus. Let me get turn a little bass out of my out of my out of my channel. Hallelujah. We thank God that He is a merciful Savior. Yes. And on this morning, we're going to move into our offertory. Praise God. But I believe the Lord has a word for the house of God on today. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, as much as we, you know, I celebrated my spiritual birthday this month of, um, oh Lord. October 19th. Yeah, October 19th. Yeah, um, 19, 1990. 1990 is when the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost. And you know, it, you know, I've, I've had I've, I've, uh, I had some mountains, Hallelujah. and I've had some valleys. Thank you, Jesus. But one thing I truly can say Hallelujah. that He's a keeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody, know He's a keeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in my little in my little 33 years of serving God, Jesus. you know, He's still showing me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing like giving me praise. Hallelujah. Right. At the end of the day, ain't nothing like lift up your voice. Hallelujah. Because you know, praise is like a, is like, like that junk drawer you got in your house. Jesus. Whatever you're going through, you know, you can go through there and you might find a little bit of air. You throw everything in there, right? Amen. And, and, and guess what? Praise is like that. Guess what? And whatever I'm going through, I can throw it in praise. Right. Thank you, Jesus. And God knows how to sort through it and find what He needs out of me Hallelujah. in the midst of my praise and worship, that it may help me continue to move forward. Can we say amen today? Amen. We bless God. I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm tired. I'm all the above. Amen. But guess what? I'm here to give God some glory. Praise glory, glory. glory. Hallelujah. 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 And I know that some of you feel the same way because these are, these, 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 these are trying times. Really. Hallelujah. Thank you. you know, every every week there's a new 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 cycle about the tragedy of man's sin. Hallelujah. But we have a story of grace and hope Hallelujah. that we have to hold on to called the cross. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? We have to embrace the cross right. and know, praise God, that still no weapon. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Anybody still believes no weapon oh. against you shall be, yeah. able, shall be able to be prosperous right. in my life? Right. It doesn't mean it's not going to show up. That's right. Hallelujah. And sometimes when it shows up, we get a little discouraged. Right. But guess what? We have to learn how to let it know. Look, you ain't going to learn to say you ain't prosperous in my life. Hallelujah! Praise God. Three ways to give. I don't feel like going through this today. I feel like praising God. We're getting ready to go into 2023, 24. So hope and planning, you know, our plan here at Praise Temple is for us to give just a little bit more every year. Can we say amen? amen. I hope that the Lord is blessing you to do that. If you have not tried it, I, I just, I want you to try, you know, as we look at where we are, make a sanctified plan. Somebody say amen. Amen. Make a make a, uh, a financial uh, plan of giving 
Amen. If you plan to give, amen. Plan to bless the house. God will plan to bless you. Amen. 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 So we'll talk about this more. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not even going to talk about consecration month because I always talk about consecration month after you get through Thanksgiving. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But consecration will be in January. Right. And we know that we don't want to rob God, do we, church? Amen. Because he says we curse with a curse. He tells us to bring all his tithes and offerings into the storehouse. There may be meat in my house. And God says, I open you the windows of heaven. We're out of blessing. There shall not, shall not be room enough to receive. Who believes the word of God? Amen. I believe God's word. God's been blessing our households and the church household. We want you to continue to bless yours. Can we say amen? Amen. And he says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Somebody say amen. 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 Shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast your fruit before amen. time. Amen. And we're going to say our statement, Lord, faith statement here. Uh, but I want to encourage everybody who can, praise God, give a good offering today. I challenge everybody who can give $25 an offering. Amen. 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 If you can, if not, $23.95 will be just fine. <laughs> amen. Uh, right. The reason why I'm pushing you in giving is because. Um, um, the way, if you are someone who's, I keep talking about, I don't know why I keep talking about, but if you are somebody who's in debt, the way you get out of debt is by giving to God. That's right. Amen. 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 I like to, every so often to share my testimony of God got me and my wife out of debt because we increased our giving. And I'm a firm believer that if it worked for the leadership in the house, it'll work for you. Amen. In the same anointing, we prayed and asked God, and we pushed it. God did a great and mighty thing in our lives. Amen. 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 I believe He did that so that we can encourage you, the people of God, to do the same. Amen. That's the plan for this house. So everybody who can, and I may just begin to start asking on Sundays that amount because I want I want you to be able to look at, be tangibly see what God is doing in your life. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. I want, to, I want you to want, I want it to manifest. Everybody say manifest. Manifest. Yes. You know, I love the spiritual, but guess what? Something I need to show up. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. amen. I've been praying about the job, praying about the job, praying about the job. But sooner or later, I want that, I want that, I want that job to what? To show manifest. up. I want the manifest. Amen. amen. Be a part of become a part of my life. Amen. amen. And that's what the Lord is doing. Amen. And that's what he says in, in Genesis. And the Spirit of God began to move. That's what's happening today. That's why, you know, the Lord really talked to us last Sunday. You know, it really made a press on my spirit that when the spirit of God starts to move it in the house, that's when you start talking. Amen. And praising God. That's right, man. The Bible says that the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water, right? Uh, 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 it was dark. It was chaotic. It was uh, no light. There was nothing going on. See, what God's trying to help you understand is that in your dark, Hallelujah. chaotic, Thank you, Jesus. Disruptive yes, Jesus. situation. Hallelujah. That's when he moves. Yes, yes right. indeed. Thank and when you, he starts moving, that's when you got to speak. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's time out. It's time out, church. That when I'm going through something, for me to get quiet. Jesus. Come on, right. I know Hallelujah. That's true. Thank you, Jesus. Too many times you get quiet when, when the going gets tough. Hallelujah. That ain't no time to get quiet. Amen. Amen. That's the time to make some noise. That's right. Jesus. Praise the Lord. And begin to speak and watch that. And the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. Amen. And what happened? And there was light. There was light. 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 We're made as, and last time I checked, we're made as light in his image. Amen. 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 I, believe, I believe the word of God. So we want to say our faith statement. Lord, Lord, Lord this is your tithe. This is, your tithe. This is my offering. This is my not a dead owe. Not a dead owe. see that soul. I give it cheerfully. I give cheerfully. Bless me abundantly. Bless, abundant. Bless praise him tremendously. Bless praise him tremendously. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Keep us and watch over us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll take up our natural offering at the end of service, but you can do digital and giving. You should have the platform there. We'll, we'll show that back again at the end of service. Amen. But uh, we want to go ahead and move forward in the service. Amen. And, and look at what God's going to say to us out of his word. So glad to see you, you, you and you out today. If you see somebody, I want everybody to turn around and just wave up and say, glad to see you. Come on, turn around and say, glad to see you this morning. Amen. So we just want to welcome you to the house of God on this morning. Amen. I, I, look, I got issues. Amen. <laughs> you got to stand that down to me. Come on, man. I got issues. 
you know, you know, I, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I never have liked, you know, when they, when you go. We went and visited churches on this past um, yesterday, and they, they came right in and they welcomed us in. But then, you know, they, they come. We got to say something. So, you know, I, I just, I'm just, y'all don't, really, some of y'all don't know. I'm really an introvert. I really don't want to say nothing. So, Amen. Not, so, I really don't want to say nothing. So, Amen. so we, we want you to be comfortable. This is your first time here in the house of God, knowing that we love you. And um, thank God we so 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 just 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 feel the love of God. So, Amen. You, know, Pastor, you always got something to know and know. Amen. I can go somewhere and sit down and be quiet, but Amen. the Lord has put a word in my mouth, so I gotta do what God says. Amen. 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 We're gonna go to the 16th chapter of the book of John this morning. Again, we say praise the Lord to everybody. Praise Amen. Lord. We're so glad to celebrate our states and deacon good. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. 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 Good. I remember. Look, I remember being good. Turned sixty. That's how long he's been with me. Amen. Now wow. the Lord's giving him another decade, so we celebrate him. Yes, he amen. Right amen. He gives people their flowers while they're celebrating. Yes. Amen. So I think everybody just needs to tell being good happy birthday again. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Come on, man. Amen. amen. So, uh, did you? Uh, the Lord dropped a thought in my heart today. The blessing of refreshing. The blessing of refreshing. John chapter 16. We're going to go to verse number 13. Verse number 13. We thank God for the praise team today. Thank God for the musicians. Amen. Thank God for those working behind the scenes. It's, it takes all of this in the body of Christ to be functional. Amen. As beautiful as you are, your heart is working. Hallelujah. Your lungs, your lungs are working. Thank God your, your liver is working. Amen. Thank God your intestines are working. Everything's working on the inside, but you look so beautiful on the outside. John, the 16th chapter, and 13th verse. We're going to read down through verse number 15. Jesus is talking. Amen. I've always, always been fascinated by this part of the Bible. That's why I got my Bible up today because when as I was a kid, all, all the words were read. <laughs> in this part of the Bible. Hallelujah. You're up in Sunday school, you know, you read through the boo boo is this all it's like, man, Jesus is doing some talking, y'all. So all well, this is red. So this is a good place. This is a good place to be today. Amen. 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 So John the 13th chapter. I mean John 16 chapter 13 verse. Let's read together. How be it when he the spirit, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive a mind and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath a mind, therefore say I, that he shall take a mind and shall show it unto you. Father, we give you praise. Speak to our hearts today. Give us strength, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you bless the people of God. Lord, stir up the gift. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Moshe. Hallelujah. Nah, 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 God, stir up the gift yes. down on the inside of David, yes. God, that we may know you Hallelujah. and your ways. The Lord, we give you praise yes, you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Amen. Look at, my say, look at somebody say the blessing of refreshing. The blessing of refreshing. You have to see the house of God today. The blessing of refreshing. John is, 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 is a... a um, we are honored everyone in the house of God. Amen. Amen. John, praise the Lord, is one of Jesus' disciples. Amen. John, praise God, is uh, one who beheld Jesus and laid upon Jesus' breast. John uh, is one who, at his younger time, before he was on the island of Patmos, wrote this gospel about what Jesus had done. John is the one that revelates to us and connects John the first chapter and Genesis the first chapter and begins to says, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. John floats on down through the first chapter and he, and he lets us know, praise God, that, uh, 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 that, 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 that the law was given to us by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Praise God. We 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 beheld him 
you know, as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace, full of truth. He, he goes on down through there that, uh, that, that we have bear witness of him and that we have seen him, amen, and that we have, praise God, been exposed to Christ and that, that his record is true. Can we say amen? amen? Jesus is true, church. Jesus is real. Jesus is not a figment of our sanctified amen. imagination. Amen. Just because we have not experienced in him as a person, right. we experience in him in spirit form. Yes. Praise the Lord. Right. And the experience of spirit form is actually greater yes. than experiencing him in his natural element. Because Jesus says something before I get to where we are. That's right. He says, greater works are you going to do? Jesus. Because I go away to the, yeah. to the Father. He said, and then he said, but if I don't go away, then the comforter is not going to show up. Yeah. Jesus was walking around on the outside, Hallelujah. but Jesus wanted to get in the inside. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <clears throat> and we see the manifestation of him coming on the inside, amen, when we get to the day of Pentecost. Right. We get to this day called Pentecost, amen, which is, amen, 50 days, praise God, after his after his crucifixion, 47 days after his resurrection, right, right, right. amen, and he begins the outpour of his spirit, amen, and in an outpouring of his spirit, the Bible says yes. that they were in one place, oh, yes. in one, on one accord, yeah. making one sound, right. having one mind. And when they were in the oneness of God, in the spirit of God, the oneness of God showed up in the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Showed up in the Holy Ghost. Guess what? God didn't leave nobody out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Said they were all, if, if you were in the upper room, you got it. Hallelujah. You didn't look at somebody and say, I need to be in the right place at the right time. So when the Holy Ghost shows up, I need to be there. Because the Bible says that those all were filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled a certain kind of way. Somebody say, I'm a certain kind of way. And they were all filled, amen, with the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues. As the Spirit of God gives the utterance. Praise the Lord. The initial filling of God. The initial outpouring of God. Yeah. You cannot be refreshed if you not had an initial. Right. Amen. Come on. That's right. Come on now. Come on. Bless him, Jesus. You can get anointed, but you can't get refreshed. Amen. Right. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. God uses this experience of the Holy Ghost to empower the apostles. Amen. To empower them to do great and mighty things in the earth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And John was one of the ones that experienced what God was doing during this time. Amen. The Bible declares that the church age was established. Amen. The Bible declares that when the church age was established, the spirit of God was released through the Holy Ghost into the earth. There is no church age without the Holy Ghost. And guess what? You should not have church without the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 Everywhere Amen. the Holy Ghost goes, you'll find a church just might pop up. Amen. Because God said, praise God, he said, upon this rock, I'm going to build yes. my church. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool my yes. shot. Yes. Yes. Ain't no more shot. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, I'm going to build yes. my church. Yes. Yes. And the gates of hell what I'm doing. Yes. I'm going to know something. Yes. We're doing God's work. Right. We're in God's vision. Yes. We're in God's purpose. Yes. The devil can't do nothing about it. Yes. He can fight, but he ain't going to win. Yes. And we got to understand, we got to stop giving him too much credit because the Bible has declared that he has begun a good work in us to perform to the day of Jesus Christ. Yes. And that's why you ain't got to be so concerned about what the devil is doing. You got to ask yourself what you doing. Yes. You full of the Holy you're a peculiar person. You're a praise God, a holy nation. And your job, so I say, my job is to show forth the praises of Him that brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. That's why I got to be so concerned about what the kingdom of darkness is doing. I'm trying to get in connect and stay connected with the kingdom of light and the kingdom of God. And I want to let 
to know, praise God, that I'm not going to be stopped in doing what God has called me to do. I need somebody to open up your mouth and say, I'm not going to be stopped in what God has for me to do. I'm not going to be stopped. Not going to be stopped. Say it again, Brother Justin. I'm not going to be I'm stopped. I'm not going to be stopped. That's right. Hallelujah. He should have stopped me before he saved me. Yeah. He should have killed me before, praise God. I got over on this side. Yeah. I'm on this side now. And praise the Lord. I'm going to continue to do, as David said, I'm going to run through troops. I'm going to leap on the walls for the things of God. I need somebody to open up their mouth and say, Lord. But guess what? He didn't stop our plan. Because greater is he that's in me. The he that's in this world. And the power of God is renewing me my mind. And we pray to God, the power of God is anointing my spirit. And the power of God is for wherever I go. And if God shows up, the devil got the back up. And I'm here to let you know, the devil shows up in many different ways. He shows up as sickness. Sickness got a the devil shows up as depression. No pressure, so pressure. Somebody need to open their mouth and say, Stop, devil. I'm not going to let depression, so pressure. No pressure. Stop me. Because he said, Hallelujah. You didn't give me the spirit of fear. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. And God is trying to help us because, right. amen, we need God to refresh us. Yep. We need yep. God, praise God, to speak truth to us. Yep. We need the Lord, praise God, to guide us Hallelujah. in the all truth. Yes. Huh? When the Bible says in John chapter 16 that John speaks about, about Jesus talking that the spirit of truth, it got to come. Hallelujah. Amen. And do we ever need truth? We need truth today. Hallelujah. And the, the society is calling this a post truth generation. Amen. Praise God. Where, where they call them wrong, right, and, and right, wrong. But I'm here to let you know today, I'm standing flat-footed on God's word. Amen. And the truth of God says, I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm, I'm, I'm saved. And I hear the prophet Isaiah said, whose report are you going to believe? I want to believe the report of the Lord because he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. Yes, I Navigate you through all that stuff that's lying in this world. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. He 
Jesus had already destroyed the earth one time in water back in the sixth chapter of the book of Genesis because every man's mind was corrupt. Every man's mind was evilly continually formed. But God said, no found grace in the eyes of the Lord. You need to let somebody know and say, I'm Lord. Lord, I need your grace. I need nobody say, say, Lord, I need your grace today. Yeah. 
natural and wisely in the midst of this situation. So I'm speaking to somebody that's facing a business situation. Don't you give up until you get what you want. Keep coming back with no, no, that's not what I need. Thank you, Jesus. God said, this is it. Right. Thank you, Lord. That's right. We 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 love people. Right. People take advantage of them. That's right. right. That's why Jesus said. So that's why Jesus said, 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 said. The children of the world are wiser right. the of than the children of life. That's right. Because we love people. That's that's right. 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 So guess what? When it comes to, when it comes for you to get your deal, you better go go after that's it. That's right. And right. get what God has for you. Right. For you. Because right. God has shown it in the ring. God has shown you that this in the ring. Come on. That's Thank right. Man. So I see it, Lord. You better go get it. That's right. Amen. Somebody say, go get it. Go, go get, get it. it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get what God has for you. Put in an application. That's right. Call them back. Send a, yeah. send a complimentary uh, uh, a follow up email and say, when are you going to hire? When when you look? When are you going to hire me? Right. My, my nephew came out 12, 12 years ago. He's been teaching 12 years now since he's been here. And the job came in. I said, listen, son, when you go into the interview, I know they need somebody there. It's three days for the teacher. It's three days before they start. I said, the last thing you let them know when they say you have any questions, you let them know when you're going to hire me. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, I can't say that. I said, you for the Holy Ghost, right? He said, yeah. I said, say. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's he went right. in there and said, they said they started laughing at him before he got home. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We want to make an offer to you. Man, man. Come on, man. So you got to learn how. Yeah, that's Go get what God has that's for you. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everybody coming out now. The same thing to show up and do what God wants. That's right. Yeah. Yes. If you want that yeah. job, go get that job. Go. If you know that's what you pray and the Lord has shown that to you, you go yeah. over there and keep knocking until, hey, amen, like the unjust uh, like the unjust judge. The Lord kept, just yeah. kept on knocking. Yeah. Yeah. He just kept on knocking. Yeah. Praise the Lord until God, amen, the man said, I don't fear you are God. Hallelujah. But because of your persistence, right. yes, I'm going to give you exactly Hallelujah. what you have. Sometimes we don't want it. That's why. Got to go get it, church. Somebody say, I'm going to get my stuff. I'm get my my stuff. stuff. But the first thing I need is the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. The first thing I need is the spirit of refreshing. Yeah. Right. And what God is saying today, as I get ready to close, amen, praise the Lord. The Bible says in Romans 8, 8, 14, he says, for many that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. And he wants us to know that we are sons and daughters of God. But how many know, praise the Lord, just like a battery runs down, my spirit can get drained amen. and it can get depressed. But I'm here today, amen, to hook you up to the sanctified charger of right. this world. Praise the Lord. Praise God to let you know that there is a blessing and refreshing. God is going to revelate. God is going to open. God is going to speak visions and dreams into your heart, your mind, and your spirit. And what I love about God also is some of y'all God's already done and you let and you have dropped that thing on the ground because you just don't see how it's going to come to pass when you look at your current situation. But the Bible declares, amen, that spirit comes first and manifestation second. So you got to manifest it in the spirit through your praise and through your worship first and let God bring it to pass. And some of y'all got to go back and pick that thing back up. And say to the Lord, Lord, I'm sorry. I didn't quite understand. I didn't know exactly what I needed to do. But I know today that it's not about what I do. It's about, but it's about who you are. And about who you empower. And about the things you called me to. And guess what? I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to pray God get it started again. I'm speaking to somebody today that has dropped something. That has kicked something to the side. That God has spoken it to your spirit two years, five years, COVID can't stop it, ten years ago, to go back and do your first works over and watch God use that situation to bring you into your promised land, to bring you into your blessing, to bring you where God is trying to take you. I need somebody to say, yeah, that's me. Hallelujah. Because I need God. I need a refreshing. And I need to know how to do this. He said, I'm going to give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding how to do it. If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask him. You have not even asked God what you need to do. But I believe somebody, when they leave here today, they're going to fall down on their knees and be
be in the sixth of the Lord while he may be found. Uh, call upon him while he is there about that situation, and he's going to show you exactly what shall come to pass. Like, that's what you say. That's right. Amen. Is that what it says? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your name? Thank you. He's going to show you what's getting ready to happen. Jesus. Hallelujah. We need a refreshing. Hallelujah. Mama, in the springtime, house been locked up, tied up all winter time. But the first warm 60 degree day, <laughs> if it's a Saturday, all y'all strip y'all beds. Oh, See, somebody know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 Hey, Mama, we're going to go outside, but not today, baby. Amen. All y'all strip y'all beds and take your, your mattress and your box screen outside. Amen. 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 Get me the window crank. Jesus. Open up all the windows. All the Amen. Because there's time for refreshing has to take place in that house. Amen. All that old dead air and all that old dead stuff got to get out. Amen. And new stuff got to come in. Hallelujah. I hear God say in my spirit today, it's time for all that old dead stuff to get out of here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm ready through the Holy Ghost and through the power of God's word. I'm going to send a fresh anointing into you. Yes. I hear God, I hear God, I hear God. I need somebody to believe me. I need the word of God. I need, I need to believe the word. Pray, Lord, you don't give up and say something. Somebody give up and say thank you. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, you got to do it in the spirit. Come on, I need somebody to give up and say thank you, Lord. Lord, I need a fresh. I need somebody to say, Lord, I need a fresh. Lord, I'm open up my window. Pray that I'm showing us away. Lord, I'm lifting my hands. I'm lifting my heart. I'm lifting my spirit. Lord, send a fresh anointing. Lord, send a new revival. Oh, 
I have not forgotten about you. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. I know where you are. I know what's going on in your life. And I have not forgotten about you. I want God to say, I tell you what, I want God to be so truthful in your life that you'll never believe a lie again. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's Hallelujah. I want God to be so truthful in your life that when someone lies to you, you tell you to, God will tell your mind they lie. That's right. Hallelujah. Here. Be here in your spirit. That's right. Just keep a straight face. That's okay. That's okay. That's right. I pray that's 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 that's, 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 that's I don't know it's not my prayer, but that's what God is telling me. Right. I want I want I want the spirit of truth to be so high in his life. Yes. 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 That when they when, when the deception begins, yes. you already you already yes. three steps ahead. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. You already three steps ahead. Hallelujah. I pray, Father. Right now, God. That you anoint us. With that type of spirit. Anybody want that type of spirit? Let's just say, Lord, I want that type of spirit. Lord, that when they try to lie, they try to cheat, they try to do wrong, I ain't got to say nothing, but Lord, you're speaking to me, you show me things are going to come, and you show me their device. But I know that the battle's not even mine.
understanding that biblically, oh God, is spiritually served. Lord, they didn't learn it in a book. They didn't learn it in a class. But Lord, you revelate it to them out of your spirit. Lord, there's businesses. Lord, there's entrepreneurship. Lord, there's promotion. Lord, there is grace. Lord, there is mercy. Lord, there is ministry. We have some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some teachers, some pastors.
just trust the Lord that, that you know what, well, you know, right. we, we might not need to do that. We'll do something different. Amen. Watch God. The preacher read very clearly on flat other night. He said, sometimes the no makes the real yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, you, the no that God gave yes, oh, Jesus. will bring a better yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Get that to the preacher. Amen. If you believe that you need it, that you got what you need from the Lord, come on, give God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Acts 3 and 18, but those things with God before it showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ, Christ should suffer, he had had fulfilled. Hallelujah. Verse 19, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. And when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. That's right. Which before was preached unto you. That's right. So we want him to send Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. We need God. Yes, we do. God bless you. Amen. You think I'm done. The blessing of refreshing. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. If you're not saved today, you need to be saved. If you need to be baptized, you can get baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. Praise God. We'll pray for you still if you need some prayer. Praise God. The Lord ain't playing. And too many times we, we use that we use that that in a negative sense. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. He playing. You know what I mean? He ain't playing. He ain't playing and not blessing. That's right. He for sure not going to bless us. You know, a lot of people preach blessings and stuff. I want the spiritual blessing. That's right. Amen. Amen. The natural stuff will come. With a manifest way. But I want the spiritual blessing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anybody desire for it? God. All right, clap your hands and give God one more praise. If you want to take up the offering, you can do that. Let's get our offering yeah. together. I challenge everyone who can give twenty-five dollars a day. I don't feel the need to sow into this anointing. You know, I, you know, every so often I do that. Amen. Yeah. But I don't feel that today. So if you feel that today, that's fine. For those who are maybe visitors, every so often the Lord does use the prophetic to do that. But I, I feel the anointing, God. But I don't feel that today. But we do want you to give something. Praise the Lord. Well, you can give. Where's the screen at? Is, that, is it up here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, three ways to give. Three ways to give. You can give. But the Lord is in the house. And I want to dismiss service. But if you want to stay here a little longer, you feel free to do so. This is why... This is this is sacred ground. This is holy ground. All music, all conversation, everything does not need to take place in the sanctuary. That's right, man. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 We're going to reverence God's house. Amen. Amen. We're going to reverence God's amen. house. Because That's right. when we reverence God's house, he comes in like this. That's right. Who wants God to come in like this? Hallelujah. Take your conversation out the door. That's right. Conversation into the fellowship area. But something we don't need to discuss in the present where, where we meet God. Amen. Right? That ain't old school. That's real school. Amen. It's real. That's real talk. It's real talk. If you were a priest and you weren't free offering and you didn't work right and you went to the Holy of Holies, they put they could be just in case you ain't doing right. We ain't going in there. We ain't going in there. But we will get you out of there. And that's the type of, that's the type of respect of reverence we need to have. This ain't, nothing, this ain't no ordinary place. This space there ain't no ordinary space. That's why we're the chosen. Y'all know what we want. We want to respect God. So, so that God can do what? That's right. That's right. Everybody had a chance to give. Amen. Let's see. God, I love you, Jesus. Can you help this mess
over there. Go ahead, D. All right, folks, great surprise. Once again, we come here thanking you for everything you've done. Yes, Father God, we want to bless the one thirty, sixty, and one hundred followers that was able to give. We also want to bless the ones that wanted to give that could not give, so that they may be able to give next time. And may this offering be used for the uplift to keep me your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, clap hands. Give God the praise. Love them. Everything in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Yes. 